Hi everyone and welcome to Style Novice. If you've ever thought about making your own air fresheners or you simply want to be able to design and decorate them yourself to suit your decor, keep watching for three great recipes. To make your gel air fresheners you will need a jar or two, two cups of water, half a cup of gelatin, one tablespoon of salt, 20 to 30 drops of scented oil, food colouring, a lip jug, whisk and chopsticks, skewer or a general stirring stick. Let's get started. In a saucepan bring just one of the cups of water to a boil. Add in your gelatin and whisk until dissolved. Add your salt, your further cup of water and mix well. In your jars, pour your oil and food colouring. Pour your hot gelatin mix into a lipped jug and pour this into the jars over your oil and colouring and stir. The mix will harden slightly to a gel-like texture. Stir using your decorative sticks as needed to reactivate the oils and scent. To make powdered air fresheners you will need jars, baking soda, 8-9 to nine drops of scented oil per jar, tin foil or thin cotton fabric, a rubber band and or ribbon. Let's get started. Fill your jars a quarter full with baking soda. Add your scented oil and mix through. Cover your jars with tin foil and make small holes in the top or a small circle of thin cotton fabric. I recommend using a rubber band or old hair tie to secure the fabric nicely before finishing with your ribbon trim. Simply shake the mix up every now and then to reactivate the oil. To make your car air fresheners you will need thin cardboard, cereal boxes are great, fabric, sellotape, PVA or needle and thread, ribbon or string and any extras as you wish such as buttons for detailing. Let's get started. Placing my cereal box cardboard face down on my work surface, I'm tracing around my plastic license twice to form two rectangle shapes. You could do any shape you like. On to off cuts of fabric, place your cardboard in the centre of the pieces. If printed on one side, be sure the plain side is against your fabric so the writing doesn't show through. Fold in your fabric over the edges. After three attempts using PVA and getting glue more on my hands and on the fabric, I resorted to sellotape. These two pieces will be attached face into each other, but first add any detailing to your top piece, such as buttons, so the underside of your threads won't be seen. Attach a ribbon loop before gluing or stitching your two pieces together. Instead of essential oils, I've used a spritz of my favourite perfume and hung this in the car. This could also be great in your clothes drawers. 